I'm Ozzy Griffin, I'm fighting off a flu, and I'm also making a post for Sexual Futurist. Ever since I've started, I've told them I was a bit of a nerd, a bit of a gamer, and uh, I guess they really wanted me to make a video like this for a while. I was just holding off because I wanted to summarize my thoughts. In short, what is it like to date a nerd, a geek, or a gamer? Pretty tough. Your average gamer is an introvert. Their hobbies and interests are mostly up here. If you're looking for uh, men who pump their bodies out and enjoy their physicality in a way that's usually pleasing to women, you're not usually going to find it. Not usually. Maybe if you're a member of a medieval recreation society like the Society for Creative Anachronism. Or if the guy is interested in uh, going hunting through the countryside for spores and fungus or ornithological reasons or other things like that. Yeah, maybe. But that's really on the borderline of nerd. So, while your average nerd has very few social skills, and we'll make gaffes that you could barely imagine. I mean, face palming does not even cover it. Hey, show boy. What I'm saying to you here is only two kinds of women date nerds or geeks or gamers. People that already share their interests and understand when you say, look, it's a massive gaming convention uh, and I've got to get there. And usually, in a lot of those cases, it actually works out. What can I tell you? It's the truth. The other kind... The other kind are people who try and change a nerd. Or a geek. Or a gamer. And guess what? It's disturbing in ways I can't even describe. I mean, it's a form of psychological brutality. Women think, oh, it's just a game. I don't care about it. So he must just be waiting for something better. And I'm that something better. Well, guess what, sweetheart? You're an idiot. Yeah, I said that on camera. You're an idiot. His, oh, you know what? You might get him to put away all his paraphernalia and put it all up in the attic. Yet the minute you're gone for a long enough period of time, he's going to be sitting there staring at it, wondering if you were the right choice. That's the truth, sweetie. You cut him back. And the truth is, he's just waiting for the day when you will come around and see that it's just a harmless hobby he enjoys on a very regular basis. And guess what? Usually, these relationships where each one is expecting the other to behave like them, and it ain't gonna happen, collapse spectacularly. So, yeah. While it's actually pretty irrelevant what your sexual orientation is, it's really more relevant what's happening up here. So, as far as nerds, gamers, geeks, and other introverted and intellectual people go, you don't have to change them. You can definitely set ground rules as to how often... Uh, you're going to have gaming or in or specialty interest or intellectual events and related activities go on in your house. You you'd better draw those lines up right from the get-go or things go sour. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin and hopefully this has been enlightening for everybody. Uh, and please, if you think I'm wrong or you can cite a real example of me getting it uh, my general category is wrong. I want to know. God help me if I'm not.